Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Now, hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP, and uh, we're bringing you uh, just a, sort of an extension or part two to the Go Kit video that we did uh, just a little while ago. And I was working on uh, uh, some more projects, a couple more boxes, basically, and just thought I would kind of go ahead and document that a little bit and just kind of have this as a, a follow-up to that previous video. Uh, you can see the original box I did uh, here in this screenshot. Uh, it's got the uh, the red uh, handy talkie in there and the, uh, the camouflage green handy talkie in it. Now, I had my tri-band uh, handy talkies in there originally, but I ended up uh, getting four tri-band handy talkies, and so I wanted to put all those into a bigger box, and then also wanted to create kind of a go box for portable operations with my Yaesu FT891 radio, and also in that uh, that big box, sort of on the right-hand side of the, of the picture, uh, also a uh, just a mobile uh, portable uh, UHF VHF little radio, 25 watt uh, uh, Chinese import radio there. Uh, you can also kind of see over there the uh, Wolf River Coils uh, antenna. It's a great, great antenna, especially for mobile and portable uh, or, or portable operations at least. So uh, I just want to put these other boxes together and kind of rearrange where I had some things. So again, just kind of a follow-up to that uh, to that first uh, uh, video that we did. And uh, this is just kind of a midweek release kind of thing, not uh, not a big deal. And it won't be a real long video either. So let's go ahead and uh, and we'll get you into the uh, the next segment here. And so we'll bring you folks right back. All right, folks, we're back. So um, here in this first uh, segment, main segment of the video, uh, and this is just a quick uh, slow motion uh, overview of the three boxes I have. Uh, there's a couple of other sizes that Harbor Freight has of these Apache brand boxes. They're not terribly expensive. They're, they're, they're decent protection. They'll give you at least some water and dust protection. Uh, they're not as good as some of the uh, much more expensive brands that are out there and uh, some really great boxes out there. But uh, this is the original box I had. And I had a couple of tri-band handy talkies in here. But I decided to, um, uh, I've got four of the tri-band handy talkies now. So I decided to put all of that equipment, uh, the tri-band equipment into its own box. And so I take, took this original box, and I just put a couple of my my dual band handy talkies in there. These are both things, and um, you know the red and the uh, uh, red leader, green leader uh, kind of thing there, and a couple of little uh, kind of slim jim antennas like we've done the video on, and a way to portably uh, charge these uh, these uh, radios up. Uh, the Nagoya 771 type antennas in the bottom, uh, and then for the new box, the bigger box, uh, I've got four of the tri band style handy talkies. Uh, accompanying uh, antennas and hand mics and antenna, you know, the uh, roll-up antennas, batteries and chargers and things. So I need a little more space. <clears throat> so I got a little bigger box, and that's what's going to go in here. It will be dedicated to my tri-band handy talkies. So I've got a tri-band mobile radio in my car. It's the uh, Bofeng 25X4, and uh, although the fourth band is is used in Asia, not here in the U.S., but it has the 1.25 meter. 220 uh, megahertz band, uh, and so I got to get all this stuff hopefully <laughs> in this box, and so that was the uh, that was the goal at least. And again, just just decent protection, get all this equipment organized uh, so I know where it is. They're pretty well self-contained boxes, and so starting in the bottom floor, if you will, of this box, uh, these are the Nagoya 320 Alpha uh, antennas, the tri-band antennas, some earpieces just in case. These are the ones that ship with the radios. And they're not real great or anything, but you know you might might uh, have a use for those, so I might as well uh, put them somewhere. And and a charging cable, a good decent uh, charging cable there. You know, just in case you're out someplace and you needed to charge something, and you had a computer or, or something handy. Uh, and then as we add a layer of foam, it start to come up. Uh, the top cutout there is a, a horizontal two-layer cutout for the charging base. Uh, I talked about that in the first video with the other case as well. And then starting to create some room there for uh, for the equipment there on the bottom right of this foam layer. And then as we get into the next layer, uh, you'll see uh, starting to put the handy talkies in there, starting to put the batteries in there, things like that. 
I've got six extended run batteries, uh, and that's what I'm going to put in this case. And then I've got um, some other extended run, and then sort of the the original uh, style batteries. And I am going to have a handy talkie still here at the house uh, that I can use uh, for things occasionally. But I'll have uh, a lot of my equipment uh, just stored neatly, uh, organized, and again, I know where things are. Uh, and that's something I'm bad about. <laughs> it's something I'm not real great about, so I really wanted to uh, to get these projects done. Uh, so here we're at the top layer, kind of finished it out. We got the hand uh, hand mics in there, a couple of hand mics, uh, which I've used at the Alzheimer's walk that we did down in Somerset uh, just a few uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, you know, batteries, charging base, uh, the handy talkies themselves, and a uh, ladder line uh, style uh, roll up. And then there's also a uh, a 220 megahertz in there as well. Now this final box, this is the big box, this is their little roller box. And uh, so what I wanted to uh, to produce was a go box for portable operations. I, I really am I'm looking to, to get in and, and do some uh, POTA, Parks on the Air, uh, that program. And uh, and so I've got a, a Yaesu FT991, uh, I'm sorry, the 891 for portable operations. You can see I've got the uh, Portable Zero uh, protective uh, rails on there. And I've also got the uh, the uh, um, the uh, antenna tuner uh, on there as well, and uh, so that's just a nice bundle. And then some jumper cables and things that hook those those together. And of course the hand mic. And so for this box, I just wanted to get all this equipment plus the Wolf River coils uh, antenna. And then you can also see that little uh, dual band um, VHF UHF radio. A nice little all together go box for. Uh, you know, VHF, UHF, and HF portable operations, so appropriate uh, cabling and antennas and things, and the two radios. So it needed a, a little bit more space, and um, and uh, there's going to be a little more weight, uh, so having that little roller case uh, actually makes it pretty nice. It's not super heavy, but it makes it kind of nice to uh, have that all neat and organized and ready to go. So that's what I wanted to work on with uh, with these projects and uh, and start getting things organized for myself, because again, I know I'm, I'm kind of bad about that stuff. All right, so for the final little segment here, again, a quick little video. Uh, here's all three cases. They're all uh, neat, organized, packed up, ready to go. I'm going to put some labels on those. Uh, may, may post to, to our, our Facebook and, and Instagram when I get some labels ready to go in there. I've got a couple ideas on that. Uh, so now I'm neat, organized, and ready to go. Uh, it's good to have some equipment, but it's also good to know where it is. Now, one of the things I wanted to cover in the uh, in the top covers of these boxes. I've got copies of my license that is signed. Don't forget to sign your license when you print it out. Uh, I just went in and put a copy of my VE certificate in there just in case I might ever need that if I don't have my, my plastic credential. The band plan, never never a bad idea to have that around. Uh, if you have nifty guides, maps, you know, for portable operations, that kind of thing. And then here we are. And then the final thing I wanted to mention was, and you can kind of see here, I just have them stacked up, but I, uh, I got one of my uh, solar panels, my folding solar panels. Uh, we did that. One of our first videos was on portable solar. And I believe this one's my 39 watt portable solar panel. Uh, and the main thing I want to point out here is I've got a couple of panels that can actually output and charge 12 volt batteries, car batteries and, and other portable batteries you might have for the field operation. So, you know, some of them just have USB out, that kind of thing. So I've got a couple that can do 12 volt. So that's pretty much it, folks. This is Chris, KY4CKP. Just kind of a follow-up to the previous uh, video that we did. Uh, quick little release here midweek. Uh, happy uh, holidays to everybody. Uh, and we'll see you, folks, maybe one more time before the end of uh, 2019 here. And certainly, hopefully, uh, plenty of times throughout 2020 as well. So again, for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73.